Here's some rules, right, with direct mail. Measure results and calculate your return on the mailing dollars. This is a... Oh, you did not. This is a... So two people got it. This is a... Okay, so if you're spending money, you want to make sure where that money's going and how much money's making you, right? So you got to make sure that's there. You got to be frequent. You don't need a monster list of 15,000 people to mail once. You need maybe 1,000 people that you mail once every six months. Maybe once every three months, maybe once every month, depending on how aggressive you are. That will get you more results. Create excitement. Act now for a limited time. That crap works. I don't know why. I usually laugh when I read it, but if it's cool, I might actually act now. Right? Put your squeeze page address in all mailing pieces. You know that? We call them squeeze pages because it's got the name and email address. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, just put your website. They'll call you if they're interested in what you got. It doesn't have to be where you just collect the information. Lumpy mail gets attention. It costs more, it's worth it. We did an event where we wanted people to know how real we were and what we wanted to do. So we went to one of the projects we were at, Danny and I, and um, Danny actually shoveled dirt. Shoveled the dirt put it in a big old bag and he brought it to my house. And I'm like, here we go with this monster garbage bag full of the dirt from the property. So we got little Ziploc bags. No, we're not drug dealers. <laughs> Ziploc bags, we put dirt in the bags and we stapled them to a letter that said, why in the world did I send you a letter with a bag full of dirt? I just wanted to give you a piece of the deal. <laughs> right? Come to the event, we want to see you. That was a very effective mailing. By the way, what's his face? The guy that actually did it with the sand in the uh, Hawaii or whatever. He freaking sold like millions of dollars, right? There it is. It's very effective. So, do I need to take credit for that or Danny? No. We'll just copy it and use it, right? The key is do something. You follow me? All right. Separate the features from the benefits. Emphasize the benefits. People like the benefits. That's what will attract them initially. Just make sure that the benefits aren't 12% return because you go to jail, right? That will actually be classified as evidence if you go to court, by the way. So you don't want that cool looking thing to be the evidence in the courtroom, right? Yep, evidence exhibit A. Here's a printout of the second email, exhibit B. So you can offer free consultation, addition, free information, anything to kind of get that relationship going, you're going to call them anyway. So you might as well give them value and say, I'm going to call you for free instead of charging you. Add value to the call you're going to make anyway. <clears throat> Have a call to action at the beginning, middle, and the end of your copy. Because you don't know when the person's going out, I call it a parachute. A driver will read like the first part, and if he's not interested, he's gone. If there's a call to action right there, and he likes it, he's not going to read any further, he's going to take action. The analytical will read the whole thing four times before he takes action, but he's got a call to action. Do you follow? Is this valuable? Yeah. Ask for the business. Now, this is really cool. My wife doesn't know I'm doing this, but... All right. My son, who is going to be nine December, lost a tooth. And so, what he did... I don't even think I can read it here. What he did is he wrote a letter to the tooth fairy because he watches what we do. Now, let me see if I can read it here. It says, Dear Tooth Fairy, I want to know if you can give me $20 for my tooth. I have been in, it has been in for a while, so please give me, give me the money. Love you.